Hey guys, what is going on? It's Epic Video Game Master here, and it's time for a new series. We're going to be starting a Let's Play Maple Story series, Maple Story for Beginners. And I've never done this on my channel before, as where I played through a new character for you guys, just to show how to play the game as a beginner, because I know a lot of you guys are I have a lot of questions and a lot of training questions and stuff. So I'm literally going to be playing through as a beginner for you guys, episode by episode, and uh, we'll see how it goes. So I decided to make a shade class, because... I've actually never made a shade class, surprisingly, so um, I've never played through it, so I thought, why not just play through it for you guys? So we're just going to go ahead and uh, do these basic quests here. Um, for the basic key setting, if you press the space bar, you can talk to NPCs that are near you. And uh, yeah, so I'm just going to run through the quest line. That's probably the best way to get EXP in the beginning levels from certain classes like the Explorer, where you can't just skip to level 10. I recommend just doing the beginner's quests like these, and... Um, Jumping through them. So, okay, so now we are a shade. Okay, so now let's talk ability points for beginners. Now, certain classes are stronger in certain ability points. For example, warrior in strength, magician in intelligence. I highly recommend just pressing the auto assign button and letting the uh, game take care of it. It's not gonna like, like right now, shade is strong in strength, so we're just gonna throw everything into strength and um, we'll leave it at that. And now for the skills, honestly. <laughs> First, first job and second job don't really matter, but if you see a skill that says that it, you have to max this skill to get a skill in the next job, max that skill because you then imagine you don't max that skill and then the next job comes and you don't have the next skill and you're wondering, well, why can't I put it in this skill? Well, because you didn't max the skill in the last job. So if it says... Uh, that it, this is required for this for the next skill max it all right So what I like to do in the beginning is I like to put one in the attack and then I like to put one in the passive uh, Which is in this case p cosmic balance gives me weapon defense HP then MP and uh, So I like to put my attack on control and uh, let's just go over here and see where we're supposed to go follow these arrows Because I am a noob and I've actually never done this before well I guess you can't you can call me somewhat of a noob looking at that but um it's all good i'm not going to be using any of that those mesos so don't worry what happened a new a house and new name but what happened to my friends are they alive if then maybe we'll uh we fail to seal the black mage no they wouldn't give up that easily they're probably hiding somewhere waiting to get back together i need to look after myself for now and get my strength back Alrighty, so whatever uh Stories doesn't really matter. If you really want to follow the story, you can. Uh, I don't know what, 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 why are we in a room with a table? What, 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 what is, what, what is this? Alright, so that is one mistake in this game's tutorial quest, for sure. Apparently you have to go to Silver. Well, Silver is right here. So why are they telling me to go in that room? That is weird. Okay, so every time you level up, you get five ability points. Auto sign though and throw your skills in whatever you want it doesn't really matter in the first job and uh, accept this guy's quest and he wants us to talk to this person talk to timber yeah uh, make sure you guys are using the quest helper in the top right it's actually very useful and uh, like i said um i will not be using any of my current mesos i'm literally starting fresh and uh playing the game as a noob and i'm not transferring any equipment any uh nothing so we're gonna be playing the game as a noob so suck to the compass teacher what does he have to say? Nothing. Alrighty, now let's talk to... Who is this over here? Patience. Alright. Now, when I'm training, I'm not going to show every single like second of me training. Uh, because I feel like that will be too much. But I think in each episode, we're going to do 10 levels or so. And uh, I'm, there's going to be live commentary. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So, I think that would be a good uh, system to... A good way of approaching this so uh, yeah like I'm saying and if you guys are wondering oh how do you know where the how do you you're just walk into the quest well if you look at the map here anything with that question mark on top means that you finished the quest so when I accept the quest I'm looking for those question marks to see who to talk to uh, so make sure you guys are utilizing that um, and yeah that's pretty much it for the basics of the game like just quest and fight you know you can uh, hit the system settings and uh, go to key settings and change up your uh, keys and stuff where to however you like personal preference I'm gonna skip the cutscene because it's a bit long and they give you a free level for doing it uh, so let's talk to Moonbeam see what Moonbeam has to say 
So any quest that says required like that means you have to do it. Okay, so they're talking about uh, these skills here, our, our basic skills. Uh, so that's pretty good to know. Um, but yeah, once we get into the grinding, I'm not going to be showing every second of it. Probably just show like highlights or something but for now for the first episode because you guys have uh because you guys haven't uh yeah i, I would like to show this part live it's all good all right so let's uh jump down i did jump down what do you want me to do moonbeam you want me to try out your foxtrot okay so foxtrot that's cool that's really cool okay so i think i'm gonna put that skill on actually in my key settings here uh, let's throw Foxtrot on... I'll throw it on, uh, A, just because I like it on there. So, A, I can Foxtrot around. Alright, that's pretty good skill, actually. I, I'm liking the Shade class so far. I mean, I haven't really gotten into, uh, fighting with it yet, but, um, yeah. I would like to try it out. I've, I see, I'm learning, too, because I've never actually played this class before. So, go ahead and throw my ability points in. And uh, we'll go ahead and slap these into Cosmic Balance again. Uh, so, so far, Cosmic Balance is getting up there. So, do we head in the portal yet? What does Moonbeam want us to do? Use Foxtrot to get up in the tree and nab that monster. Alright, let's use Foxtrot. Uh, Foxtrot. Um, Foxtrot. Oh, there we go. Are these the monsters you want? Okay, so I guess uh, that's what we were supposed to do. Ah! So, like, usually the other classes are not as confusing. Shade is a pretty confusing class here with these beginner quests. I'm not liking it. Um, but uh, hopefully we can get out of them really quickly. I'm liking this Foxtrot skill, though. It's pretty cool. Uh, hunting lessons. It's your first hunt, so we'll go easy on you. Caterpillars will be easy. Give me 10 dried caterpillars. All right, so we got to follow this crazy arrow on top of our heads. This beautiful red arrow that tells us, takes us to our doom, takes us to our misery. No, it actually takes you to your success, to your successors, and beyond. <laughs> That's all good. All right, uh, let's see if we can... Okay, well, Foxtrot is not good for climbing. It's just good for speed traveling. So they want to skill 10 caterpillars, not a problem. You can take these uh, yellow portals or just teleport you around the map to uh, different yellow portals. So as you can see, my shade damage is pretty good. My damage is going to be a little bit higher than you guys if you've never made a character before because of this skill right here. Uh, Blessing of the Fairy, what it does is for every 10 levels your character is another character, you get weapon attack, accuracy, and magic attack, so that's why my guy's doing a little bit more damage, but it'll even out uh, as we get in the higher levels. But for now, I'm doing pretty good damage, and uh, make sure you guys are picking up your potions as you um, fight, because you're gonna need them if you don't have any mesos like I do, like I, you don't have 333 mil, you're fresh to the game, you're gonna need uh you're gonna need some potions right to heal yourself so i highly recommend you pick them up sometimes now see like i just got three potions red potions blue potions two potions and so it's good it's good uh, monsters sometimes drop more than one potion in one like it looks like one potion but it's more than one all right so we're supposed to kill 30 caterpillars and we're supposed to pick up um these dried caterpillars here that they drop for our quest we need 10 of them so i wasn't really paying attention i was just fighting them just to explain things but yeah as you can see this it's uh the beginning is kind of sucks but as you get more into it i'd say level 20 or so and uh you start getting a feel for the game you're gonna enjoy it so do not quit do not quit in the beginning a lot of people quit in the beginning just stick it through it gets really fun in the higher levels with bossing and uh leveling and all that stuff like equipment upgrading equipment you know making mesos playing with friends it gets very fun so just bear with me here i'm gonna be literally playing this character right through for you guys uh just because um i know a lot of people are confused and lately and all, not a lot of people have been explaining it to beginners and maple stories tutorials on their website i'm sorry maple as much as i love you your tutorials are crap so i figured i would do it i would just explain start from the beginning start from scratch and actually play as a noob so we're that's exactly what we're doing and uh anyway i think after this quest i'm going to wrap up this first video because i think we made good progress we should get to level 15 here so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this video this is episode one of let's play maple story for beginners and uh, i hope you guys enjoyed stay tuned for episode two should be i'm gonna try to do a once a day thing with this and um we try to get maybe five levels, ten levels, 
per video and I'll show you guys how to play the game slowly how to upgrade and how to build your character from a noob to a pro that's exactly what I'm gonna do and I'm literally not taking any of that other money I'm starting fully from scratch here so yeah anyway I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video hopefully and make sure you don't quit this game it's really fun just trust me on that all right next next video we are gonna be covering hunting lessons 2 and beyond. I'll see you guys then. Goodbye.